so well. How does it feel to join Chesterfield Football Club? It's amazing. Um, you know, as soon as I found about the interest, it was uh, something that I wanted to pursue, and to finally get it over the line is an uh, amazing feeling. And obviously, the gaffer is someone that you played under before at Wigan. Uh, what role did he have to, you know, bring you into the club? A massive role. Um, I think, you know, for for me to drop down to national league, it had to be something special. And you know, obviously, working with Cookie before and having such a great time um, with him previously was was a massive pull. And you know, I came to have a look around the stadium and, and everything around here. And you know, it was um, it was something that as, as soon as I found the interest, it was it was amazing for me. And yeah, like I said, really good. Like you say, national league, not a league that you're quite you know with yet but what do you know about the league you know coming into the football club um not too much to be honest obviously i've spoken to a few people about it um i hadn't even played in league two previously so you know i've dropped down to national league but i know it's a tough league it's obviously hard to get out of which which proved last year but i think the way the club's going and the ambition they had it was um you know something i wanted to be part of and i'm, I'm really positive that we'll have a successful season this year Obviously, played at likes of Wigan, Sunderland, Rotherham, MK Dons. You know, a couple of teams that played Chesterfield quite a few years ago when they were in League One. So, what do you know about Chesterfield? You know, and uh, how were you feeling going to play in front of you know about seven, eight thousand fans here every week? Yeah, really excited. Like I said, I've, I've played against Chesterfield quite a few times. I think when, when I was at Milton Keynes the first time, they were sort of our bogey team. I think Cookie was a manager and, and Gary Roberts actually played, so that was slightly annoying. But um, yeah, every time I've played here as well. The fans have been brilliant, and you know, to like you said, have seven, eight, nine thousand coming week in, week out was a, a massive incentive for me. I love playing in front of fans. I always seem to step up for big games, so you know that was a massive part for me as well. I, I didn't want to drop down and you know and lose that 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 sort of league feel. So I think this club, you know, it's it deserves to be higher. It needs to be higher, and I'm hopefully going to be a good part of that. Obviously, fans of English football will know the name Will Grigg. For people though that maybe haven't seen you, what how do you describe yourself as a player? Um, no, I'm a goal scorer. Um, you know, it's a, I've been described as a fox in the box, and you know, getting on the end of crosses. So, you know, I like to, I've got quite a lot to my game. I can hold it up, I can link it up, I can run in behind, and you know, I've, I like to think I've got a bit of everything. But you know, my my main role in this team is going to be to score goals. So, you know, I've, I've watched clips and everything with the gaffer and the amount of crosses that come in the box. It's my job to get on the end of it. So, you know, ultimately, I'm I'm hopefully going to be the one that, that scores the goals to get us up. But you know, I like to think I've got got enough in my game so I can contribute all over. The club was so close last season, you know, almost getting to League Two, but now a fresh start and a chance to really stamp their authority on the league. That's the thing, yeah. Obviously, you know, last year was was really disappointing in the end, but I think overall it was a successful season. I think you look at the two teams that went up, finished first and second, and ultimately deserved to. But you know, the, what they threw at it to get there was was massive. So, you know, for us this year, it's just have to concentrate on ourselves, and you know, I'm sure we've got enough in the building to to make sure we can get the job done. Finally, do you have a message for the supporters? Um, just really looking forward to playing in front of you and you know the, this, this team's going to need support throughout the season and yeah really looking forward to, to getting the shirt on and, and playing in front of them.